What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek and in today's video we're going to run through a limousine and party bus campaign in Google Ads and kind of break down exactly how this is working. It's a very small campaign in California. I think they're running like $37 a day. Where is that? Yep, right here, $37 a day. So before we get into the meat of this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We drop training videos like this every day and um, case study videos, all, all kinds of stuff like that. All right, so let's dive right into this. First things first, let's go through the account statistics. You can see here, limousine and party bus, small budget, $37 a day. As you can see, they're very limited. Over the last 30 days, which was December 14th to January 12th, which is over a few holidays, so this is actually not too, not too shabby results, and considering all the other stuff going on in California right now. They've gotten 161 clicks, 1,433 impressions, 11% click-through rate, Average cost per click was about $4.30. Total cost for the month was $694. That's what they spent in advertising. In return, they received 35 phone call leads. These are all phone calls. This is all mobile traffic. Mobile traffic. We're not even giving an option to uh, submit contact forms on this client in particular. So that's 35 phone calls at a cost per phone call of $19.83. Total conversion rate, 21%. And you can see here we're using Maximize Conversions, Google's auto bidding strategy to run this campaign. So before we go into that, let's go look at the conversion actions so you can see how we're tracking the phone calls. You can see here call extensions, and I have contact form in here, but we're not tracking that, and phone calls. The only two that should matter. Ignore this number. There was old conversion actions in here, and uh, we're not counting those. So call extension lead, this is obviously, if you guys are new to Google Ads, this is when someone searches on their mobile device, the ad shows with a click to call number right below the ad. So that's these are phone calls that came from that particular um, call extension. That's 14. And phone call, this is our using call rail. We're tracking uh, phone calls down to back to the keyword. This phone call is any call that comes from the actual website. So someone clicks the ad in Google and goes to the website and then clicks the call or or uh, picks up the phone to call, whatever. So that's that's what we're doing here for the tracking. So these are all phone calls. Now if we go into the actual campaign, I'll show you some ad groups. You can see here the clients in Bakersfield, California. And this is very, very basic campaign. We even have broad match keywords in this one. Broad match keywords work um, pretty well in the limo niche. So you can see here we got party bus, limo, just as generic limo keyword, ad group, Bakersfield limousine keywords, Bakersfield party bus keywords, limo prices, which doesn't really ever do much. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Hummer limo key rentals keywords and wedding stuff, which is obviously not much going on with that right now. So if we go into our biggest ad group driver, which is limousine keywords generic, You'll see here just a bunch of broad match and mixed modified broad match, exact phrase, kind of all over the place. Um, this campaign is really old and it just it always worked really well. So we kind of just let it run and do its thing as long as it's doing well for the client and giving them a return on investment. That's all that really matters to us. So you can see in here, we even have some keywords that most likely obviously should not be in here like Hummer limo stuff that should be in the Hummer ad group. and some geo stuff so it's kind of like a melting pot of keywords in the generic ad group if we go into bakersfield party bus you can see here it's more structured a little better it's all bakersfield party bus type stuff if we go into regular party bus that's a little bit more nailed down as well so these are all uh, broad match modified exact and phrase or keywords we're using. So let's go into Bakersfield limousine. Yeah, these are pretty good. So basically, the only ad group that's kind of a melting pot is the limo keywords, which I probably should clean up while I have you guys with me here. Let's do that actually while I got you here. All right, so for just doing generic limo keywords, we are going to get rid of. Hummer because that should be in the other ad group. Another one here. 
Prom probably should be its own ad group, but for now we'll leave that because I'm just not going to get into all that. And the rest of these should be pretty good. Yeah, I think we should be good with that. Cool. All right, so those are the keywords. You can see here, guys, this is not rocket science. There's This is even a really that great of a put-together campaign because we're using so much broad match, but the broad match in the limo niche does convert. Um, I always tell you guys in my other videos, don't use broad match, and I, you got to really know what you're doing to use it. Otherwise, you're going to get crushed, but in the limo niche, it's pretty lax. It, it, it does drive some decent traffic, so we always kind of just use it for the generic terms like limousine rental stuff. But, um, yeah, so that's it. This is Bakerfield, California. You can see here. Very small budget, 37 a day. They're doing pretty well. They're happy. They're booking They're booking uh, rides for clients. So if you guys have any questions about this video or the limo niche in general, drop them in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description. I'm going to drop some stuff in there for you guys. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video.